This is Simon Beninga. I'm the author of Fundamentals of Finance with Excel, published by Oxford Fodger Press. I'm making this video to welcome the readers of the new Southeast Asian edition of this book. Here's the cover. The message of all of my books, in all of their editions, is that in today's world, it's simply critical to incorporate finance with Excel. Calculators want to do the job. This message has been very well received by readers around the world. Previous editions of the books are in use in hundreds of finance courses in over 50 countries around the world. Hi, I'm Dr. Noriyanti. This are my two colleagues. Uh, hello, I'm Zainora. Hi, I'm Hamisa. Uh, we are actually the author of the book called Fundamental of Finance with Microsoft Excel. We started this project way back in December 2010 when we were approached by Tanwei from Oxford Fajar with the idea of adapting a book from Simon Banega. And um, what we did was actually to look through the content and see whether you know we should actually go ahead with the project. At the same time, we are actually collaborating with one prestigious uh, author. We in incorporate Microsoft Excel as the way that Simon used it. And I think that uh, by using Microsoft Excel is very good for the students, especially when they go to the real world. They can use this uh, Microsoft Excel to solve the financial problems. We also added new chapters for the FFE with Microsoft Excel, uh, which are the financial, Malaysian financial taxation. We also added uh, working capital management and I think the last part of this book is about the derivative markets. These are so special because we use or incorporate the Malaysian financial system, which I don't think that other international books have this uh, uniqueness. It provides a companion website, both um, for the students and lecturers, where for the students, okay, it provides a, an online test and selective problems, other than the problems that they have in the textbook. And for the lecturers, uh, they have a PowerPoint presentation um, and additional problems plus the solutions, um, which I think um, will benefit both the students and lecturers. Um, secondly, all right, I will also like to highlight on the price of the book. Um, it's very reasonable compared to the content that we have in the book, um, where it uh, highlights on the um, international and local environment of the finance market. Last but not least, we'd like to convey our sincere gratitude to the following people who have actually directly and indirectly made this project a reality. To UITM and especially our VC Prof. Dato. Dr. Insunia Sahul Hamid for constantly reminding us the academic mission to elevate UITM on the world map. To Prof. Simon Banneker, it was a pleasure to work with you. Also, to Oxford Paja for providing us the platform for us to achieve to another level of academic achievement. Thank you so much. I was impressed by this uh, book and this edition of the Fundamentals of Finance because of its content, its hands-on application as well as local and regional examples. One of the problems of finance is that it's virtual and nature. A lot of things need to be imagined and, and it's, it's concepts in nature and our students have problem visualizing it or conceptualizing it. But this book really bring it out uh, to allow our students the, the, the ability to understand the concepts very quickly and even to give them the ability to actually have a hands-on uh, application of it. And the other thing about this, uh, this text is that it's filled with plenty of examples, local examples like Asia, and the list goes on and on. And, and this is the one thing that I really like is that for the longest time, a lot of texts are, are coming out of US, and even though they are uh, adapted version for international version, a lot of it still doesn't apply uh, to the Southeast Asian context. Uh, and, and that makes it quite difficult for our students and often when the examples is not local in nature our students switch off 
and they tend to actually disengage in their learning and, and that is not, it's quite detrimental to their to their learning. One important factor that often is being left out is the confidence factor and um, and I really recommend this book highly and uh, and it's uh, and I and I think it's a fantastic addition to the um, to the textbook and, and this is one that I will uh, add to my recommended text for my students.